Hello, my friends. Welcome to the World of Drones Congress 2018 in Brisbane, Australia. This gentleman here is from the Australian Army and he demonstrates his awesome micro heli. And I have to say, I'm a little bit jealous, even though yeah, he kind of struggles with all the software and he's mucking around and mucking around and waving it around and calibrating it and checking settings to even take off. But yeah, let's just, I see he's shaking it again. Let's just see what's coming out of that because yeah, once it's working, it's actually quite an impressive little micro heli he has there. 25 minutes of flight time. Yeah, so the main rotor is spinning now. And yes, it's super quiet. But he still seems to have issues getting the tail rotor working. And he told me that once the calibration is finished, only then both motors will spin up and he can actually let go of it. So it needs to calibrate all sensors and uh, I don't know exactly how many he has, but what he's doing now is going up and down in order to allow the light sensors, so basically the camera, which is heavily used for navigation, to calibrate that to the light environment. And it took him another while mucking around with this, but yeah, he took it like a pro and eventually got it to work. I mean, you have your awesome toy there that everyone wants to see and lots of cameras around you and then it just doesn't work. But yeah, he <laughs> doesn't even start sweating. He's, yeah, he's a cool dude. I imagine him during a mission, people are yelling at him, the terrorists are coming, John, we need the micro heli. And he's just, yeah, buddy, just hang on a sec. I'm, I'm calibrating it. She'll be all right. I think it's it's ready now. So let me move around here so I can see it taking off. Come on, let go. And yeah, it flies. And uh, it's super quiet. It's indoors here. If you would see this thing, if you can see it outdoors, 10 meters away from you, you can't hear it at all. It's a lot quieter than let's say an inductrix. It means it's not as fast and it's not quite as good as when you're outside because um, if you watch it, see how it slowly oscillates about five to ten centimeters. So that's using the world's best optical navigation mechanism now. So with that five to ten centimeters worth of movement, the picture that's coming through the camera, the little computer inside, that, that, that uses triangulation and trigonometry to maintain its position. And it's all relative to the image that the cameras are seeing. He explains a lot of very interesting details about this little heli. But there's one main question that we have. And that is, do you have two of them? Because we want to race. Do you have two? Sorry? Do you have two of them? Yes, there's, there's two in, in the hangar. No, I, <laughs> no, I do not want to run. That's my top speed, man. That would be spec. Yeah, so inside, this is top speed. 